So like I mentioned, these headlights are seemed a little bit high to me. Um, as far as the cutoff, you got the high beams, there's the low beams, and you see that cut, clear cutoff there in the woods. Um, when it comes to other vehicles on the road, the whole point of that cutoff is to avoid that line, uh, your, your lights being in their face. So that line is intended to be below their windshield. Uh, but this vehicle, they look, it's just too high, it looks like. Um, especially when you're going up and down hills. So it's just probably an adjustment issue. Uh, but, you know, this particular vehicle may have this issue. But another thing is the, the vehicle kind of like rocks back and forth a little bit because it has a, you know, a little bit of a high suspension. And as you slow down and speed up, it raises and lowers the, that line as well. Also, hill, going up and down hills. So, something to consider. Uh, as far as the adjustment, it definitely needs to be adjusted down. But as far as your visibility, if they're adjusted properly, then your visibility is good. Um, it has a LED system, multi-reflector, and I've done a video on the Honda Civic, and it was pretty impressive. Now, I wasn't on a super dark road, which not as dark as we're about to be now, uh, so... We'll get it, put it to the test a little bit more. But I was impressed with the headlights on the Civic, and these are the same ones. And also, the automatic high beams seem to work okay for now. Okay, so it's pretty dark right here. Yeah. Okay, so we can see the road, we can see the trees in the distance. Uh, pretty darn good. And it seems to be fairly evenly lit. Sometimes multi-reflectors have an issue with having like patches across the ground and it's not like evenly lit. This one seems like it's okay in that regard. Not sure why the high beams aren't turning on right now. It has, has the automatic high beams are turned on. But maybe because we're not going fast enough. No. Okay, so the automatic high beams aren't all that great. Let's go ahead and manually turn the headlights on high beams. Yeah, the distance is really nice. Partially probably because the, they're adjusted too high. Uh, that could be part of it, but yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the headlights. For a vehicle this size and everything, it's good. Not impressed with the automatic high beams. Those are always seems to be an issue with most vehicles have some fatal flaw with the with the automatic high beams. Yeah, it's it's pretty surprising the fact that they're trying to make self-driving cars, but they can't even have high be high beams that turn on or off appropriately. They they're just problematic. 